As the number of cases grows, so does misinformation and profiteering online. People are looking to make money by offering cures or products that claim to prevent infection. And health officials warn some of them are actually harmful. Penny Daflos digs into that part of the story. Order silver now. Yeah. Just have it in your house. From this televangelist pushing colloidal silver to YouTube channels hawking a bleach-like product you consume. It kills every pathogen, every virus. There are countless people hawking cures and preventatives for COVID-19. Elderberry extract. It produces a kind of layer around the virus. There is no one thing that that is a is a magical cure and and all of those things that you listed are are questionable it's often the, all they'll see is the headline they don't know if a source is reliable based on first glance NewsGuard, a group of journalists researching and identifying fake news online has seen a surge in recent weeks the idea that this virus was created in the lab it's a leaked bioweapon including the claim that it was a bioweapon stolen from a Canadian lab by Chinese spies. Two claims that are predominantly on the health side, such as, um, you know, this solution can cure coronavirus. With plenty of people looking to make a profit, whether it's an herbal tea or this Craigslist posting by a Victoria seller claiming to have a device that can detect the coronavirus from 25 feet away. Experts say you're actually a lot better off making sure to wipe down your workstation and don't forget about your smartphone. Just think about how many times you're putting that up to your face every day. The same principles to protect ourselves from getting the flu are, are in place for COVID-19. The one exception being because it's a new virus, we don't have a vaccine for it yet. So sleeping well and eating healthy are priorities as is information from reputable sources like the WHO. These droplets are too heavy to travel far in the air. Useful reminders to help curb the spread of the illness and misinformation. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.